Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Zeus the Moose, of course, and I'm back with another live commentary. This commentary is actually a little different, obviously. If you guys remember, I did do the Q&As, and basically what we're going to do right now is answer those questions that were sent in to me. So, much love to anyone who sent a question. The video did pretty well, 834 views, 108 likes, only 3 dislikes, so much love to you guys. But, um, let's get right into it, because... I want to do a bunch of these in the future. How I'm probably going to do it is just anytime anybody comments questions, I might just pile them all up and then do a video like this. You guys see how you can see my mouse and stuff? That's pretty cool, yo. So let's just get right into it. So we got the first one is from Bliss Steelix. Awesome guy, guys. If you don't know him, you should definitely check out his YouTube channel. He's just a really awesome dude and he supports anyone he can. So his question is, what does Hades think about the team growing in the Gal community? If you guys don't know who Hades is, Hades is actually the original co-founder of GSQ and also my real brother in real life. So we started GSQ together, and I'll eventually do a side story on what exactly happened at Hades and why he stopped playing. But um, I was talking to him quite recently, probably about a month ago, since we don't live together. It sucks, but it's not the same. But um... Honestly, like, he's he's mind-blown, but at the same time, he was my greatest supporter I ever had. Like, he was my biggest fan, and he's the reason why I do YouTube. So I kind of feel like, um, or not even necessarily feel like, he's told me that it doesn't shock him too much. Alright, so we're going to move on right to the next question. I'm Yella, he says, there's a couple of these guys, so if you ask, no offense, you know, don't take it wrong, but I'll shout out each one of you, but, uh... I'm not going to redo it, obviously. He said, how did you come up with the name GSQ? I said, um, basically me and my brother, Hades, one day we just decided to make a team and we decided we wanted to be something brotherly. We want to be something like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, like something that involved teamwork, something that involved two people doing something in a brotherly or a partner fashion. And basically one day he just walked up to me and was like, man, dude, like, you remind me of Zeus, and I'm like Hades. Because <laughs> we always joked about it, like, I've always been more upfront and more like, I get shit done, and he's just crazy, <laughs> but that's why I love him. So, um, he actually was the one that was like, yeah, I want to be Hades, and you should be Zeus, because that fits perfectly. So, that's where we decided. We were just like, alright, let's be Zeus and Hades. But, um, GSQ actually came from the point where we are like, Okay, now let's make a team that's based on those gods so we can have other people who are with us who are gods. Like, originally it was going to be, like, my cousin and just a couple in real life friends and stuff. So, basically, I decided I eventually I came up with God Squad. But the reason why the abbreviations are the way they are, like, it's uppercase G, lowercase S, uppercase Q, is actually so it's more common in the search engine. So therefore, if you type in GSQ, there's not many companies or things related to that abbreviation of lettering that you'll find. So GSQ is one of the most searched things when you search that abbreviation of lettering. So not only was it created because God Squad, and you know, we're God Squad and we're gods, but that's also another reason why. Um, as Helio says, when yo shout out to Helio, he's still my boy. If you guys know, if you don't know that, I love him so much. He a little ho though, but it's straight. Um, when did you start smoking bud? Oh, I started smoking bud like as soon as I came out the womb of my mother. Like I had one rolled up and everything. <laughs> um, why did or when did you start a GSQ? Shout out to Palsies. I actually somebody underneath it said I believe 2012. I have no clue. I actually started GSQ in 2013. And we were just a regular team. We weren't a YouTube team. We didn't become a YouTube team until, until 2014. So that's pretty simple right there. All right, let's get right back to it. Um, we have Esta Noob. Shout out to my boy Newbie. If you guys don't already know about him and you haven't subscribed to his channel, you definitely should. He makes awesome and hilarious content. But his question is, why do you like Moose? Because <laughs> I'm the motherfucking Moose. What you mean? 
<laughs> nah, nah, I'm just playing. Uh, honestly, dude, just one day I was just like, yo, what rhymes with Zeus? The moose, and it's just a play on words, and it's just fun, you know? It's something fun because I don't want people to take me too serious. When you have a name like Zeus, people can often think you try to be as good as the so-acclaimed Zeus. So I threw moose in there just to let people know that, like, I ain't out here trying to be better than everybody trying to be Zeus. <laughs> but, um, yeah, much love to you, noob. These are a couple, these aren't questions, but shout out to Royal Assassin and Locust. He said you should do a GSQ versus fans. I'm definitely sure we will do one in the future. All right, the next question is from Danky. Shout out to the boy Danky. He said, how do you come up with good ass names for all your series? Dude, honestly, like, I just sit there and think. <laughs> I just sit there and randomly think about things that match the uh, equivalence of, like, you know, whatever I can relate to with the type of video that I'm doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> just whatever the video is about, I try to relate it to Zeus and the type of clips in that video. Honestly, I just think it just, you just got to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't speak Spanish. I don't know what that is. S. Beansy, 97th like. Much love to Beansy. If you guys haven't subbed him already, you should. Much love to S. Magic. She's a wonderful chick. Definitely sub to her. A. Zeus, the how to clutch with Zeus down. I always choke. Okay, for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do the Zeus how to clutch. Return to GSQ Vulcan. That's love. All love, fam. Thank you, sweet gaming. Amazing question, Tommy Computer Crutch. Fuck, <laughs> yo, that's exactly what happened. If you guys watched the original video that these cues are from, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> All right, now we got Shane Savage. Yo, Shane Savage has been supporting my content since I think I had like two, three hundred subs. So just thank you so much for that, dude. I really do appreciate that. Do you think Gal Four is going to turn out better than any Gal equal to Gal Three or worse than Judgment? Okay, um, Gal 4, I believe, has the chance to be incredible. I, I've always been an individual who believes the first, the first uh, original foundation of a game is always going to be the most true to its roots and realistic thing. So, like, in my, in my opinion, like, Gal 3 is my favorite Gal, but, like, Gal 1 was, like, the prime time of Gal, you know what I mean? It was so original and it was so fresh, you know what I mean? So, like, what I'm trying to get at is, like, I think... If you take it with a grain of salt, Gal 4 can be amazing. Obviously, haven't played it yet, but like what I'm trying to get at is if you expect it to be like every Gal you ever played, and then it turns out not to be, you're going to be highly disappointed. So I highly recommend not to do that. Just play it how it is. But I see a lot of potential in it, and uh, I believe in Gal 4. All right. Jazlyn Washington, much love to you. Appreciate the question. Um, you said, why are you called the Moose and Zeus? I answered that earlier, so thank you very much. What got you into gears and wall bouncing? I also answered that earlier. I actually always played gears, but the reason why I started wall bouncing and making videos was because my brother Hades was like, bro, like, you're crazy. <laughs> RNG quads, what's up, homie? You said you should do a setup video. Honestly, guys, like, my setup is so shit. I'm I'm surprised I came this far with the setup I have, <laughs> but um, if you guys are really interested in that, just let me know. Shout out to AGN Lobo just for the comment. Rodney Farver just for helping me out. GSQ Haven because he a fucking boss. You guys should definitely sub to him if you haven't already. Devours you a beast. We all know you love me, but the question is how much. It is impossible to be scaled on the earth level of love. That's how much I love you. Question two, when did you start rocking the blue weapon skin in Gears 3? Yo, I swear, I started rocking that weapon the day I found out it existed. I'm not even joking. The day I found out that you can have that blue, I rocked it ever since then. So, fuck yeah. What was your opinion of Gao Judgment, good or bad? See, now this goes back to what I originally said. Um, I know <laughs> Gao Judgment is a very hated game amongst the community. But in my opinion, it wasn't that bad of a game. Now, hear me out. This is the way I put it. Like, I always believe that, like, all right, so there's Gears 1, Gears 2, Gears 3. There's Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3. If you always look at the next game, like the new game, as, like, like an add-on, like an extra DLC for the game you love, like, you're always going to be disappointed because the newest game is always going to have additional features, and it's always going to be different. You know what I mean? Like, that's how, that's what makes games continue to last. So, like, in my opinion, like, yes, Gal Judgment compared to the other Gears of War, 
it wasn't Gears. But in terms of a video game in general, I've had some fun playing Judgment. So, I mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Trap Smitty says, I sell ice cream. Hunter said, great video, Zussi. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And here's the last question, guys. Nice video. I like commentaries more than clips. Thank you so much, Logan Burke. I actually replied to you because that truly meant a lot to me. And it motivated me to continue doing these type of videos because it is what I want to do. But here we go, guys. The last question is, how long have you been playing Gears of War? Would you be open to playing with subscribers? Lastly, the best and worst part of playing Gears. Okay, I've actually been playing Gears of War since Gears of War 1. I've played it since release of Gears of War 1. I wasn't as big as a player as I was until GAL 3. Like, that's when I really got into it. I played GAL 1 and GAL 2 a lot, like, honestly. But I had no say in the community. Like, I wasn't, like that into it i was more of a halo player i actually played halo professional tournaments at the time so like i loved it but yeah so i played since the beginning of gal would you be open to playing dude i love playing with subscribers as long as like it's here's here's a, a thing for the the best and worst part of playing gears i love playing with subscribers the only issue i have with playing with subscribers is we usually can't find a game because gears of war 3 is you know such a dying game i could definitely play with subscribers on ue and that would be awesome to me but that also comes back to the point of like the best and worst part of playing gears currently guys i love gears it's so much fun i get to bounce i get to have a good time with friends i get to create content with you guys and those are the best parts the worst parts of playing gears are like retro people teabagging or talking shit and then saying they love me <laughs> that hurts yo that really hurts guys another one that really bugs me is this is a new thing is um there's actually currently a lot of fake gsq members going around in the community i don't know if you guys have noticed but um not only do they pretend to be official gsq members they join my lobbies and they ruin my clips and if i do clip on them like i feel bad clipping on them because they have gsq in their name not because they're they're not gsq but I don't want anyone to ever think I'm like setting up clips or something. So um since Gal 3 is such a, you know, a uh, a small community, those are the worst parts for me is having to play people that like consistently know my content and like go out of the way to ruin stuff for me when I'm just having a fun time. But otherwise, I love Gears, I love my supporters and I love making videos like this. So honestly, guys, that's all the questions. I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to be doing Q's and A's all the time now. I decided Basically, all you have to do to be to um, supply a question and get a shout out is just comment a good question on any one of my videos. But it has to be a good question because I have to notice it and take it out the bunch. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you guys a shout out. And uh, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed creating it and I want to do a bunch more. So um, much love to the Olympus fam. I hope you all enjoy and peace out, homies.